here I have a new product made by a company called Van Top. I've done a similar product review on something like this late last year, and I'll throw a link up there if you're interested in seeing that. What makes this thing different and not redundant is that this newer one is 12 inches, it's 4K, and it's a front and rear camera, which does a ton of stuff. This thing does voice command, built-in dash cam, all in one with GPS. There's the antenna, which is included, unlike most of these things, you have to buy it separate. There's your GPS antenna. Loop recording, you'd also use the built-in G sensor, go online, do your recording, see it on the map, do all your playback. This thing constantly does a loop recorder. There's a front camera right here, which you can adjust. And this one here is 4K. The rear camera, which is located right over here, is a 1080p rear camera. So you have this and you have here. So you have a front and a rear. You could do front, dual, split screen. It's a touch panel with voice command, if you can believe that, which is pretty different. I've never seen that one before. It's got parking assist with the parking grid on it with guidelines, like I said, 12 inch, which is huge day night. It's got the Sony camera on the front, which is the same thing I use in my own truck. So that thing I can tell you for a fact is a solid rock camera. These little things here are what you use to mount it onto these tabs right here. They're kind of like rubber bands. So when you put it onto your vehicle, you just take it, and you stretch it out, and it mounts on there nice and snug. And I'm going to show you in a vehicle how that actually looks. This is a touch panel screen. You can see when it is off, I mean, it is a mirror, a true mirror. It's very nice. Good quality. There's those top connectors like I mentioned. On the back, it's got a speaker. You can actually talk to this thing. Take, so you take a picture, record, change how it displays. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's like Siri for a rear view mirror dash cam. It's kind of weird talking to everything, but I guess that is what it is. Now here is the rear view camera, and it comes with all the wiring so you can connect this thing up into there. This here is the trigger lead, so if you want this thing to go on with reverse, you can put that on there, or you can just have it on directly through the connector cable and just watch it normally. Unfortunately, this cable does not have an expansion port, so that way when you plug that thing into the cigarette lighter, this is the only thing that can go into the cigarette lighter because there's no port to piggyback onto which I've seen some other models, so keep that in mind. But me personally, I would hardwire this thing under the dashboard anyway. I wouldn't want to see all this crap. This GPS, you just make, want that thing to be on the dash to see the sky, to get the data for the GPS. 23 foot cord on this rear view camera, so that's pretty ample. And it looks nice. It looks real nice. It's real thin. It's not ugly and obtrusive like a lot of stuff you used to see. I mean, man, technology is just getting so good now that everything looks good. So when I was ready to bring this thing out into the vehicle and start testing it up and wiring it and everything, I noticed when I plugged all this stuff in, I said, man, this is kind of like cumbersome. I personally would have thought that they would have done a multi-conductor cable and had one connector maybe on the back with a right angle so it can go out and up into the headliner to make it a little less obtrusive. So all of this here, to me, give me a side view, maybe that'll help you. Not really a huge fan of this. Even if you do a nice job blooming it up and everything like that, it's still a little bit, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. But, hey, if it works for this money, maybe you sh shouldn't even make a big deal about it. But this is what I do. I pick on things, good things, bad things. I talk about it. So here's my truck, and this is, of course, my factory stuff. And that's my existing dash cam, by the way. Actually, this thing uses the same Sony camera as this thing. So definitely, I know that thing's going to look good, for sure. So there's my existing one put that thing right on there so that's kind of like the after before after you get the point point. and it doesn't affect this which is my avoidance collision detector dealy whatever this is over to the side it's right in that dot matrix area which you shouldn't have any anything there anyway so that's where that's going to go and if you look in that rear view mirror right there that's where I'm going to put the rear view camera because I have a stock rear view camera in this vehicle. So if I was going to actually install this and leave it in my vehicle, I would put it back there because I wash my bed. Because I'm always driving around with tools and stuff in the, in the back there. So to make sure it's not flying out, hitting other people and other cars, that's where I want my camera. So I'm going to do it that way. Maybe that will apply to you. Maybe it won't. But that's what I'm going to do. So I put on these straps. They lock in on the top. And I'm just going to put it on the rear view mirror. I'm just going to take these, pull them around. Lock them on the other side, and that's how this unit will actually be on there. So there it is mounted on there. And let me tell you, this thing is tight as hell. This thing is not going anywhere. No shaking, no problems there. So if you're worried about that, you can stop worrying right now because there's nothing there to worry about. 
right here is where the mini SD card goes so that's where you're gonna record all your data so your GPS your G sensor GPS tracking DVR all that stuff all goes on that card so when you want to take it out and play it back you can play it back on the screen of course when I'm going to show you but you can take the card out bring it to your home PC save it download it whatever you're gonna do with it but that's how that works so there it is with those wires I was telling you about that I didn't like I mean if I was gonna leave this thing in permanently I would take a piece of wire loom and I would just doop, 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 look at a wire cover and actually it wouldn't look so bad I maybe I kinda dinged it a little bit more than I needed to well maybe it's just my application but I just don't like wires it's, I mean even me I mean full people I can't stand looking at wires I like wiring but I just don't like to look at wires but I gotta say I am impressed I plugged in the rear view camera and I expected that red lead to be required to turn on the camera just worked automatically so I'm loving that I must I'm gonna guess that when you plug in the red wire to power that it's gonna turn on the grid lines but that looks nice I can get used to this a guy can definitely get used to this so there's the back of my truck I can see behind me it's recording that plus I have my front camera which is over here doing the front I am liking this thing so far really liking it tentatively I have the GPS receiver mounted right here if it was gonna be permanent I would tuck it in and I would probably go up there right in the corner so you wouldn't see it and have a straight shot right to the sky but this is pretty typical of just about anything you put in a vehicle for the GPS and it give you enough wire to get to about right there in the middle which is where my factory LED is and that's where I would typically put this thing in my own vehicle but it gives you enough slack to do so it gives you plenty of slack for the power cord as well which is located right over there and for that rear entertainment camera that thing's got tons of room you don't have to worry about that thing at all so I just put the vehicle on, you can see it automatically starts doing video record capturing. And this is at night time, so this here is my front lights, and this here is my side yard. And you can see, while you're driving, the unit will calculate your miles per hour, which works flawlessly with the truck. I can tell it's the same perfectly. The GPS is pretty impressive, actually. You turn it on, it recognized the day, the year. It did everything except stay on. <laughs> when it's on its main screen like this, it's showing full 12 inches of the front. Every time you swipe right, it's gonna change the image. So you have your full 12 inch for your front view. And over here I have my backup, because that's my neighbor across the street. And over here, you see a car's cut. Oh, somebody's riding a bicycle in front of the house. Healthy people. Swipe again. So there's the front and there's the rear. So you got two views. You got six inch here, you got six inches in the front, back. Pretty cool, I love that. So swiping out, you can see all here you have GPS. Tells you all the stuff that's going on. Here's your quick icons for like mute. There's a button here so you can say take a photo. What I'm gonna get into that in a second for the voice prompts. Take a picture. I wish that stayed there a little bit longer, by the way. Settings, lock it. Right now I want to go into settings. So I've already showed you what this thing looks like when you're driving it. So again, there's your camera status, microphone up top, there's your battery. You actually if you cut the vehicle off this thing will stay on for another 10 minutes believe it or not so why is that useful I'll tell you why because if you park your car you go in to get some stuff at the store you come out and there's a big old door dent in your car and you're pissed as hell and you're like what happened who hit my car just go on there take out your card you can play it back through the screen but I would just bring it home bring it through the computer check it out save it and you can give it to the cops and you can find out who the wrongdoer was and that's pretty cool that that is actually a really nice feature when I first saw that, I said, what the hell would you need a battery? But that actually makes a whole lot of sense to me. My dash cam does something like that. Actually, my dash cam picks up and catches my wife when she's taking out the trash in the morning and doing other kind of weird stuff. It picks up all kinds of things, birds, squirrels, and every other critter running around my neighborhood. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, it that's at nighttime, by the way. I mean, you've already seen the video in the daytime. This thing is stunningly beautiful. So I think this thing's pretty awesome. If you want to get yourself one of these devices, by the way, Look below, I'm going to have a link to the store on Amazon so this company can uh, get you one in your hands. And I think it's a pretty good investment because this thing used to be at least 50% more this time last year because I did a similar system, I recall, and it was over almost 300 bucks. For the price of this thing, man, it's hard to go wrong with something like this these days. For all it does, it does a lot. You got the unit, the camera, the front, the rear, the DVR, the camera, the voice. The okay. It talks back to you. I mean, this thing does it all. So I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a like.